circles. This is the last video in our discussion on two-dimensional shapes. Once we finish this, we'll move on to 3D shapes where we'll talk about surface area. Here's your checklist, and that is to label the parts of a circle, and then try to calculate the area and circumference of some circles. Alright, let's begin the lesson. A circle is a closed 2D round figure with no corners or edges. Here's a circle. Let's try to label the different parts and then I'll give you the formulae for the circumference and the area. So first we have that any line that stretches from the edge of a circle to the center is called a radius. So here we have a radius R. A diameter on the other hand goes from one end of the circle, passes through the center, onto the other side of the circle. Notice that it really must pass through the center. The diameter is twice the length of the radius. The last part I'll mention for now is called a chord, and a chord is any line that touches any two ends of the circle. So by this definition, the diameter would actually be the longest chord that you could find in your circle. We refer to the perimeter of a circle as its circumference, and the circumference is given by 2 pi r. The area, on the other hand, is given by pi r squared. Well, all, all right, but uh, what is pi? Well, pi is just a number. The actual value of pi is 3.14159263 and it goes on forever. But we are only interested in the first three numbers. Whenever we use pi in a calculation at the seaside level, we use it as either 22 over 7 or 3.14. Let's see some examples. So here we have a circle of radius 12 centimeters. We want to find the area and the circumference. So first we do the area. The area of the circle is pi r squared. So we do 3.14 times 12 squared and this gives us our final answer of 452.16 centimeters squared. Next, we do the circumference. The circumference is 2 pi r. This gives us 2 by 3.14 times 12, which is 75.36 centimeters squared. The last thing we want to talk about regarding circles is how to find the area and circumference of just a part of the circle. The circumference of a part of the circle is called an arc, and the area within that arc is called a sector. To find the length of an arc, we do theta over 360 times 2 pi r. Since theta is the angle within the sector, this formula is telling us to take the fraction of the circle that we want and then multiply that by the entire circumference to get the length of the arc. The area of the sector is theta over 360 times pi r squared. Again, since theta is the angle within the sector, this formula is telling us to take the fraction of the circle that we want and then multiply that by the entire area. Thanks for watching. You can subscribe here if you want to get the latest from the Caribbean Scholar YouTube channel, or if you're ready, you can use the link in the description to hop onto our website and sign up for one of our premium courses.